Our first step to measure wind actions on this building is to calculate design wind speed or V design and theta. Theta is shown in this picture in here, which shall be taken as the maximum cardinal direction side wind speed or V side and beta, which is shown in here. Linearly interpolated between cardinal points within a sector plus and minus 45 degree to the orthogonal direction being considered. So this beta is shown here, which is related to the north direction, south, east, and west directions. A conservative approach is to design the structure using the wind speed and multipliers for the worst direction. For example, if we have a building located on a hill, then it, uh, it may be easily checked that the V side and beta on the exposed face would be the worst case. To simplify the design, this value could then be used as design wind speed for all directions on this building. The second step is to measure wind pressure on different sides of the building with this formula, as you can see in here. P or wind pressure is measured in Pascal and is a factor of rho, which is density of the air, which is um, 1.2 kilogram per cubic meter. V design and theta, which we have explained before. C fig, which uh, is aerodynamic shape factor, which we are going to go to a lot of detail in the next few slides. And then C dynamic, which is dynamic response factor, which is usually one, except where the structure is dynamically wind sensitive. This is usually the case for very tall buildings. And then we have a Z, which is tributary uh, area for the wind. So what we need to do in here is to calculate this wind pressure on different sides uh, of this building. For example, if the wind is applied in this direction, then we have windward pressure applied on this side of the building. Then we have leeward pressure on the uh, rear side of the building. And then we have side wall pressures. And finally, we have roof pressure, which we need to calculate. Each one of these pressures have their own uh, parameters and factors that we need to calculate. Let's calculate our regional wind speed. There are a few steps to determine the regional wind speed. The first step is to um, see what is the importance level of the structure, which has to be determined in accordance with its occupancy and use. And the second step is to know what is the return period of the wind event. So let's look at table 3.1 here, which gives you the uh, consequences of failure for importance levels. So as you can see in the first column, there are uh, four consequences of failure uh, defined here, low, ordinary, high, and exceptional. In the low consequence of failure, in the dis description part, you can see it says for low consequences of loss of life or a small or moderate economic, social or environmental consequences. This is for importance level one, which is for minor structures uh, for which failure is not likely to endanger human life. Ordinary consequence of failure is for medium consequence for loss of human life or considerable economic, social, or environmental consequences. This is importance level two, and it's for normal structures and structures not falling into other um, importance levels. High consequence of failure is for high cons consequence of loss of life or very great economic, social, or environmental consequences. So we have two importance levels for this uh, category, which is importance level three for major structures affecting crowds, and number four, which is post-disaster structures 
um, post disaster functions or uh, dangerous activities. And then we have finally exceptional consequence of failure, uh, which is for circumstances where reliability must be set on a case by case. This is importance level five, and uh, this is for exceptional structure. So as you can see here, our structure would be importance level two. So in table 3.2, there are some examples, uh, more descriptions for this importance level um, for buildings. So for example, importance level one, one is for uh, structures presenting a low degree of hazard to life or other property. Uh, there are very useful examples in the last column, which help you uh, recognize your importance level as well. Uh, for example, for importance level one, you can see it's for structures with a total floor area less than 30 square meter. For farm building, isolated structures, towers in rural situations, fence, mast, walls in ground uh, swimming pools. And importance level two is for normal structures and structures not in other importance level. This is the building not included in other importance levels and for single family dwelling and uh, car park uh, buildings. So importance level three is for structures that um, as a whole may contain people in crowds or contents of high value to um, a community or people uh, or pose risk to people in crowds. So it's mainly based on crowds. There are examples um, on this column, um, which says uh, this is for facilities uh, with more than 300 uh, people, daycare facilities, primary schools, colleges, healthcare, airport terminal, multi-occupancy residential commercial uh, buildings, uh, public assembly buildings. So as you can see, it's mainly for the crowds. And number four, is for a structure with a special post-disaster functions. Obviously, this is not going to be our um, category, and number uh, as well as number five, which is for special structures um, with a special functions after disasters. So, um, as you can see here as well, our imp importance level would be uh, number two because it's just a warehouse. Uh, now, finally, if we look at table 3.3, .3, uh, this table uh, will give us annual probability of accidents for the event we are looking, which is wind in this case. Uh, this is based on design working life. Usually, we have 50 years for design working life, as, um, uh, ex um, unless we have a very special structure. So with the importance level determined, which was 2, and we can see the wind um, has 1 over 500 annual priority of accidents, or uh, the return period is 500. For, and also you can see this um, annual priority of accidents for other events in this um, table as well. For example, for a snow is 1 over 150, for earthquake is 1 over 500, and for serviceability, limited state is 1 over 25 or 25 years return period.